When the clock gets to 10 seconds, I'd like you to start counting heartbeats. Ready, set, go. That was about 10 beats I counted and it went from it went for about 15 seconds so we can say 10 we could say 10 beats in about what was it 15 seconds or so 15 seconds now check this out we can turn those two numbers into a ratio yes we can we can put a line to separate them we can say there was 10 beats compared to 15 seconds remember what a ratio means a ratio is any situation where you compare two things with one another when you compare two things you've got yourself a ratio now this is no ordinary ratio this is a special kind of ratio this is a special ratio you know why because we have two different units these are different they are not the same units one is time right this one here is time and this is beats now since they are different this ratio has a special name it is called a rate a rate is any situation where your ratio has two different units then you've got yourself a rate let me show you some more examples of where rates kick in Listen to this. How does this have to do with rates, Mr. Melham? What are you talking about? Let me show you. This song has, if you count the beats, it has 103 beats per minute. Now, per means one, means every minute, every one minute. So what we have here is a case where, just like the heartbeat situation, we have... 103 we can write this down 103 beats kind of like the heart right we just saw the heartbeat in the last example but this one here is not in 15 seconds it is in one minute look at this we have beats we have minutes they are different so we have a rate did you know that 103 beats per minute is the perfect rhythm to help save somebody's life when you're doing CPR on somebody and you're pounding their chest at 103 beats per minute, you're going to increase their chance of surviving. So in, if you ever get put in that situation, in fact, if you ever do training in CPR, they tell you to play the song in your head. This one. The, the name of the song is Staying Alive. Isn't that a little bit ironic how... I wonder if they knew something. I wonder if the Bee Gees, the group that sang the song, knew something about what they're doing. I think they were onto something. Here's another example of rates. You see it every day with prices. Anytime you buy something, that is a rate. Anytime you go to the gas station, you see the sign, that is a rate. Now, how is that a rate? Where, what are the units? Well, look at this. We have here, let's look at just one of these. We have $70.00. So we can write 70, 70 dollars per hour over one hour. We are comparing money with time. This is money. This is time. See how they are different? So it is a rate. When you go and work for somebody, and you charge them a certain rate, you're charging them a certain amount of money per hour, per unit of time. That is a rate. Here, when you go to the gas station, you are paying, in this price here, you are paying 152 cents. 152 cents, which is $1.52, for one liter. That's in Canadian units. I know in the U.S. they charge you per gallon. In Canada, it is per liter. So it is money again. This is money, and this is what? This is volume. This is volume. How does this involve rates? Can you think of what the rate is over here? It's not money, and it's not beats. What is it then? 
it is people and cars. Yes, you can have rates with people and cars. Look, we have one, two, three, four. We have four people. And we are comparing them to two bumper cars. I'll say two cars. So we are comparing people with cars. See how these are different? They are not the same. They are different. One is people and one is cars. That's pretty easy to see. And it is a rate. Yes, it is. We can reduce this to two people, right? You could divide this by two and divide the denominator by two and you would get two people for what? for every one car right see them right there two over one car two people in one car it reduces it's fantastic see how reducing ratios make sense here's another example it's not people in cars but we have now what we have flowers in a cup in fact let me do this I am going to make it look better no that doesn't make it look better let's stick to that so we have what? Count the flowers. We have equal amounts in each. That's important for rates. You always want to have equal amounts. We have six flowers in three cups. I would like you to reduce this ratio. Reduce it. Divide by three. Yes. And then you would get, you would get two flowers on top of one cup. And that ratio would be, this ratio here, is the exact same as this ratio here. They are the same balance. We have six flowers in three cups is equivalent to two flowers in one cup. See? Two flowers in one cup. Let's look at a speed limit sign. That is also a rate. Can you find it? We have what? What does that say? It says 100 kilometers let's write it like a ratio compared to that's 100 kilometers that slash there we can also write it like this we can go 100 kilometers slash that hour is one hour okay we can also write it like this compared to one hour remember ratios can be written in two different ways fraction notation and this dot dot notation everybody's been put through this situation it is a money killer this will drain your bank account if you don't solve the problem in time. Drips. You see, if your faucet is dripping, let's say only 12 times, let's say 12 drips in one minute. That is a rate. That dripping is a rate. We have drips versus minute. The signs, the units are different, so it is a rate. But you know what? It adds up because in two minutes, that's gonna be 24 drips. In an hour, you're gonna multiply by 60. In a day, oh man, you can see how the numbers add up. And meanwhile, ah!